Hello adventurers! Today we are doing a little bit of cooking for something different. I'm going to be making a dish that I learned about when I was visiting Jordan, the uh, Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan over in the Middle East. And it's called Mutabel. And it's an eggplant dish. And I figured I'm making it tonight for dinner as a part of our dinner. And, um, why not make a video of it? Because very few people in America have ever heard of Mutabel. And I would liken it to Baba Ganoush, but it's a little bit different. So, let's cook today. We're going to start off with uh, showing you the ingredients. I was just at the store earlier today to pick up a few last minute things. And the main ingredient is um, eggplant. I'm using organic eggplant. And uh, some of the other things that I bought at the store um, will be used for the side dish. This is um, Jordanian za'atar, and um, these are pickled turnips. They'll be on the side for our dishes later on. Now this here is uh, tahina, tahini. This is used in the dish for mutabel. And um, also we have um, fresh organic parsley. We're going to need some organic, one organic lemon, some organic garlic, not very much because my wife doesn't uh, like it too powerful, just enough for a little seasoning. We're going to be using salt and I don't, oh I forgot to bring it out. We're going to have pepper and then um, we're going to be serving it on uh, pita bread, which I just got from the bakery this morning. And my wife is gluten free, so she will be using uh, celery and carrot sticks for her mutabel. So, first we're going to prepare the eggplants. So far I've washed the eggplant, and now I'm going to prep it by using a fork. And I'm going to be poking holes all through it. After this, we are going to roast it right on our gas stove. Okay, we're done poking holes throughout the whole eggplant. We'll do that to both eggplants, and then we're going to move it over to the stove and put some gas. And we are going to be moving it around until, it, uh, until the skin gets all burnt around it. So, I'll be doing this for a while and um, I will come back when it's nearly done. It's not quite done yet, but I wanted to show you how it's actually turning um, a little bit dark and you can see how it's kind of getting burnt and sizzling a little bit. Um, it's going to be shooting out juice onto the stove as it cooks. That is normal. So listen to it sizzle. Actually, of course, it's not doing it at the moment, but it was sizzling a minute ago. So be right back in a you second. Can see how it's still cooking and I'm waiting for some of those juices to come out. We've got a second one on here, and um, I actually had a few bad spots on this one that I had to cut out. So um, you can see what I did there. But we've got our two eggplants going. Both of them were um, punctured with forks. And I just remembered that there's um, another ingredient that I forgot to tell you about, too, actually. We're going to need some organic extra virgin olive oil and a um, spice called sumac, which we will be using in the finished product. So, let's check on these things. You can start to smell. Just wanted to show you that, don't forget to cook the bottom. I have it uh, leaned up against the tea kettle. And you can see how they're getting pretty charred. See this one that's making juice. I 
I wish we had smell a vision because um, these are really smelling like they're uh, burnt. Because they are. Look at that. Ooh, that one there is kitchen on fire. Yee! Hot. See how the skin. Yeah, these are getting done. They're uh, getting close. Make sure you don't uh, cause any uh, fire. See the sparks coming off? You can see pieces of juice. Whew. So, okay. okay. These are done, so we're going to uh, turn the flame off. You can tell they're done because they're smoking, and look how soft that is. See? So, we're going to turn them off, and then we're going to move them over to a cutting board. And I'll show you what we do next. Okay, next we have our hot eggplant. We are going to slice it open. Maybe we'll get rid of the top here. Okay. Now you can see this is nice and soft and mushy inside. That's what we want. The meat of the eggplant. So we're going to chop it up and then spoon it out, actually we're going to fork it out into a serving bowl. So let's do that. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, work with. I, I need I need a camera assistant is what I need. All right, I will finish the rest of this and the second eggplant, and then I will be right back. Okay, this is the second eggplant. Um, basically, what you do is um, remove the skin and some of the seeds after you take them off the stove. This is the first eggplant. And then uh, while they were cooking, I chopped up the parsley and the garlic, and I cut the lemon in half. And um, next we're going to put all the eggplant into the bowl and continue chopping it up into fine pieces. And then we will start adding some other ingredients. We left some of the skin in to give it a uh, smoky taste and um, if you see any big giant hunks of seeds they can be removed. I, I think um, I removed most of them but um, some seeds are okay. And what we're going to do is continue to chop this up until it's um, extremely fine. And then we will add more of the ingredients in. So. I will do that. Okay, this is what the eggplant looks like all finely chopped. So what we're going to do next is add lemon, garlic, parsley, and tahina. Tahini, as some people might know it. And one other ingredient that I forgot to tell you about is um, Greek yogurt. So we're gonna be using some yogurt as well. So let's see if I can get the tripods going here. All right, first we're going to use the lemon. Hopefully not get too many seeds in there. Uh, one good thing is you can see the seeds so you can pick them out. Let's see, there's a seed there. There's another seed. Oh, I lost a seed. Here's two. And somewhere I think there's a seed. There it is. Okay. Got all the seeds. Lemon juice. Next we're going to put in the garlic. Next, we're going to be putting in some yogurt. Okay. 
Okay, now these are just my, um, I, I may need to adjust the recipe. I'm not using a recipe, I'm just going from memory. And then we're going to add some tahina. And then we're going to add some salt. This is um, coarse kosher salt. I don't know if you can see that, but let's add a little salt. Now we're gonna add some pepper. Sorry for the setup, by the way, the camera setup. This is the first time I've ever tried doing a cooking video. So I'm still figuring it out as I go. And we're going to whip this up. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley. Okay. So you can see what that looks like. And now I'm going to whip it up. And then I'll see if we need to add anything okay. else. Okay. Now I've whipped it all up. And this is the final consistency. And um, I didn't need to add any other seasonings. It tasted perfectly. The only thing I did was add the rest of the parsley just so I wouldn't uh, waste it. As you can see, it is uh, very firm and um, smooth. And now we're just going to um, finish it off the Middle Eastern way. We're going to make a little indentation here let's see all right let's get some of our um, organic olive oil and we'll put a little dip in the middle and we'll do a little bit around the outside see how pretty that looks and then we're going to finish it off with some sumac now, you can make it as decorative as you like and I think I'm going to go a little bit more Maybe one more. All right. There is our mutabel. And I've already tasted it, so uh, let's give it another taste. Get some of that sumac. Mmm. It's incredibly good. One of the most delicious meals that I found when I was visiting Jordan was the mutabel and what you do is you dip it in pita bread or if you're a gluten-free person celery sticks carrots or gluten-free bread however you like now if you ever find yourself in Amman Jordan I highly recommend Hashem's restaurant which is the oldest restaurant in Amman and they have the best mutabel and they also have the best falafels. They have stuffed falafels, which are little balls, and they have vegetables on the inside. So I highly recommend Hashem's for the best mutabel in my world. Although this is actually incredible. So um, it's easy to make your own. It has a nice smoky taste. Now what I'm going to do is chop up some pita bread, put some olives and some pickled turnips and um, then we will have have dinner later so thanks for watching maybe I will do one final video of the final presentation but this is the mutabel shukran thank you for watching I'm gonna try to sneak in one last little video segment this is how the, I'm doing the serving suggestion. We've got some cucumbers, some pickled veggies, some olives, 
the mutabel in the middle, pickled turnips, some carrots and celery, pita bread, and we're gonna finish it off with some za'atar, which is um, just going to be sprinkled over top of the vegetables, and maybe a little bit over the mutabel. Doesn't, don't need too much. Okay, so that, my friends, is a meal. So, bon appetit once again, and thanks for watching. That is Mutabel.